Hi guys, this is Banches, and welcome back to another episode of Transport Fever. So sit back and relax and enjoy this episode. And if you guys enjoy this episode, smash that like button down below and subscribe to my channel. Today, well, we are going to continue playing some Transport Fever. Um, I really liked how the first uh, episode came out, and it seemed like you guys had a good response to it also. So we are going to continue on this series here and continue to grow um, our cities out. Um, just a quick little recap from the last episode. We uh, started a new uh, game, and we basically put in uh, some networks in between Concord and Somerville. We put in also a food line uh, going up here. That's our only current railroad, and that is supplying both of these towns with food. We also, near the end of the episode, brought in some passenger lines from this town going over to here. So that's kind of where we left off. Um, we are doing pretty well with uh, revenue, as you can tell here. We are making good money. Um, the revenue is starting to go down slowly just because uh, our operating and our running expenses for our vehicles are starting to go up as they get older. But we are still making a profit, and that's what matters the most. Um, I was hoping to try to get out of all of our loans before I decided to continue to, um, you know, get more trains and stuff like that. But I think we're just going to move ahead. Um, in this episode and the first thing that we want to really do here I kind of want to see how a tram network is going to work in Concord so I personally think right now we have a good amount of uh, you know wagons going around and picking up people I was looking in here and the trams we just unlocked this brand new um, horse trolley car so these can carry six people and they travel at a top speed of 12 miles an hour which is significantly faster than what we have in our uh, wagons. So I think this is going to be the good way uh, and our best upgrade to go about it. It's going to be a little expensive building the infrastructure in the town, but I'm willing to do that for um, the investment going forward into the future. So let's see here. What can we do? Okay, so we're going to need a tram coming out of this station, obviously. And the first thing we're going to want is to hook up where all of these lines are located so it kind of just goes around here continuing along where um, all these current wagons are being uh, traveling or traveling around so let's get this situated here once this gets all situated then we'll be able to put trams out on these tracks and that will definitely be a good um, I think it would be a good start for our city okay here we go bam and that should be all of our roads currently. Yep. So what we're going to do is we are going to buy a tram. Let's buy two trams to start. And we are going to set them on this line here. This should definitely be probably the best bet for us. You can see, if you zoom in close here, you can see where the tram lines are located. And we'll go over here and you can see the trams coming out. So that is definitely a good first step. I like how this is going. Let's, um, the next step we need to do is sell off some of these uh, wagons that have, uh, or that have dropped off basically people. And it looks like currently they are all filled. I kinda didn't wanna have to delete them or sell them off while they're all full. But I think we might go ahead and just start getting rid of some of them uh, just to get them out of the way. So, for example, right here, we are going to get this one out of the way as soon as it drops off the individuals. There we go. Dropping them off. And we will send him for sale. There we go. He's going to be sold off. So, yeah, we're just going to uh, wait for a couple minutes just to get these guys all situated. And when we get this all situated, I'll be back with you guys. Okay, guys. So, we have sold off all of the wagons in line two and now that means we have to buy more trams so let's put this tram on line two and we're going to just slowly let these trams roll out and kind of uh spread out a little bit allowing that to happen will definitely help with uh some of the traffic congestion um and hopefully they'll fill up more room too so hey okay, we got a bunch of people still here it looks like i'm just gonna let him go a little bit further still and then I will purchase a second tram. There we go. And we're just going to keep doing this for a couple minutes just to get the spacing of this correct. 
and to start filling up uh, the demand for these trams. Okay guys, so we have kind of leveled out now how all the trams are operating and they will slowly start picking up people in these areas. Uh, their trams are starting to get a little bit more empty as they come around, so that will be good and this will hopefully speed up some of the carrying capacity. Um, currently these are quicker. Uh, this is making, it looks like less profit. Let's see here, we can look at how maybe they were before and after. Let's go to replacement, we're gonna turn this off. Vehicles, you can see how long they've been operating for. Charts, so you can see here how they were operating before. Definitely profits are lower than what they were earlier. Um, yeah, but expenses were higher. So, who knows? Looks like, eh, okay, we could be making about the same amount on this line than what we were on the other. So that, that will be good. This line right here is the line going back and forth between the two towns. This is the line over in the other city. Let's, let's see how this is uh, looking over here. All right, so this line is, looks like it's still okay. Like, it doesn't really look like we need much to do here. Um, so yeah, I don't think we need to really upgrade much of this. But yeah, now we have this tram network going in here, and I definitely really am happy with that network. I really wanted to get this set up, um, just to get it kind of going and seeing how it would operate in total. Um, yeah, if for some reason the screen starts shaking, sorry about that. I'm trying to figure out exactly what's going wrong with the recording software, but, um, hopefully we can figure that out soon so then we don't have to deal with it anymore. But, um, yeah, not too bad. So that's good. So we have this kind of more situated right here. Let's see, what does this demand build up right here? Line three. So it really looks like they're starting to get a lot of demand going back and forth between these two cities. And now that there's finally that much demand, I think now it's time to really get into putting a train between these two cities. So to start with that, we got to figure out where we want to put the station. I really wanted to put the station next to where this is. Um, I don't think that's going to be a good location. Yeah, no, it's not going to be a good location. So let's spin this around. Honestly, right here might be our best bet, to be honest. Yep, that, that's where this is going to go. Alright, so there we go. First train station is in. We're going to go over here now. And the next station, I think, is going to go over here. And what I was thinking of doing for this station... Alright, let's bring this up just a little bit more. Um, let's see here. That's pretty spread out. I don't want to go too much. We'll go like this, and we're going to come across like this. Just put some more roads in, and then what we're going to do is go here, take this, and this is going to attach. We're going to have this go right here. Perfect. So doing this, uh, it's a pretty small station. We're going to have to just move it around this intersection a little bit, but this should be a, a good junction location. We're going to move some more um, of the uh, stops in the towns, but this is kind of where I want it to go, and what I need to have happen now... I have two options here. I could either have it go through this station, or I can have it go around the station. Probably the smarter idea would be going around the station, but it's early on. I really don't want to waste some of the costs. So let's do this. We are going to go around the station. We're going to have this come over like this. And then we are going to have this cross the train tracks like that. There we go. Okay. So we cross the tracks. And now we just got to continue this down. And now this, I'm going to bring this station up. I know this is going to be a little bit more of a pain. Okay. And let's connect that up. Perfect. All right, so now these two stations are connected. And the one thing that I need to do to make sure the trains run efficiently is put in some signals here. So let's put one signal here. And we'll put one signal there. And I gotta also now put a signal here and a signal there. So that will prevent the trains from going onto the tracks, but they also can go up as close as possible um, and hopefully not stop, so that will be a good thing. 
Now the next thing I want to do is get some roads put in here. So let's, we're going to definitely remove that. And we're going to place this in here like this. Uh, and we're just going to upgrade this actually right away. Should have, uh, oh, well, apparently the connection is not possible. Damn it. All right, well, that was a waste of some money. Right, yep, okay. So let's just delete this. And I'm going to put these in here. Okay, we're going to delete more buildings. That's fine. Yes. Okay. And what I need to do here is add another station. I like putting these kind of like docking stations almost, I like to think of it as, next to the train stations. So we are going to put this right here. Okay. We're going to keep this one here for now because why not? And let's go into here. We're going to go to line two. And right after line one, we're going to add a new station. We're adding this station in. And does that connect? It does not because it's not a um, tram line yet. Okay, so let's upgrade this. Perfect. Now it will go. Okay, so this is good. Now we have a full station set up here. And if we go all the way over to here, we got to do this similar thing to here. And let's see, can I upgrade these roads? Or will it not let me now? Nope, okay, it will, good. Perfect. So those are upgraded. And what we need to do is get a, another bus stop in here. Let's get this one situated like this. Okay, and we need to change this route. For one, okay. So four is the last one. We are gonna add an extra stop after that that goes all the way up to there. Perfect. Okay, so that will be good. Now we have these two cities connected train-wise and also uh, transportation-wise. So now the next step is to get the train in here. So let's get the depot and we're gonna place this at the back here. And now for this train, what I want to do, we're going to get it running. This is the quickest train. How much does this thing cost to operate? This is now like the next big thing to decide basically is how and what kind of trains do we want. This train goes 37 miles an hour. This one goes 28 miles an hour. The upkeep on this per year is 52K while the upkeep on this is 114K. Uh, we're not going to be carrying, I'd say, a large load yet. So for that reason, I think we're going to go with this one. It's not a huge upgrade, though. And I kind of really like this train. All right. The better of me, I'm going to do it. I'm going to go here. And then we're going to go one, two, three. Screw it, four. All right, we got four locom or four, uh, what is it, cabooses or four uh, cars hooked up to it. And now we get to set the line. So we're going to go new line. We're going to go here and then shoot that all the way over to here. And there we go. That is the first locomotive line that we have set up. And you guys can see here it is coming out of the station right now. And it's coming up and we'll hopefully uh, pick up some people. That's what we're uh, hoping this will uh, be a good uh, little network set up here. For right now, no one's coming in here just because uh, we have the wagons still going back and forth. So I need to delete those and delete that line to force people onto the trains. So let's do that right now. We're going to go here. And this line three is going bye-bye. Let's go in here and we are going to sell everything here. And we are going to delete that line. So there we go. Everything is gone now. All the people are gone. Everyone, see, is now transferring over to this side. So that means now they should be going onto this trolley, and they will be going up to the train station now. And you can see the train in the background heading out to our next town. How many people here? Oh, we got 37 people waiting. It's a good amount of people. 
We are definitely getting there. We just gotta hopefully hope that this train setup works. This is a, that was a pretty big investment. We just spent, let's see, how many millions did we just spend on this line? New vehicles, trains. So we spent 1.7 on trains, and then construction all together. Okay, not as bad as I was thinking. Oh, here you go. We got some more costs up here. Construction costs around 200-ish. Probably about 300 to 400,000 in construction for the rail line. Uh, so yeah, we're definitely got to hope that this uh, pays off because this is definitely a, a nice little investment into a rail line. So let's uh, get this moving back and forth a little here and see how this works out. And I'll be back with you guys in a few minutes once the uh, line starts, you know, getting people attached and uh, coming to it. Okay, guys. So I was thinking also over in this town, I think it'll be worth it to put a tram line in here too, just because this is a little bit more spread out of a town. It could um, operate a little bit quicker. So let's go ahead and also put a tram line into here. So I'm going to have this come out of here. And these are going to shoot down. And kind of just uh, get this all situated here. Bam. Go across here. Up this way. This goes up here. Over and up. Over and then down. And then it should come, I gotta see which is the other way it goes. It looks like it comes maybe this way. And then back into the depot. That's what I'm thinking. Yup, that looks about right. If I do that, that wasn't that expensive to upgrade. I can also now get uh, the depot here. Now let's place this depot. Where's a place where we can place it that we have upgraded. All right, we can place it up here. We'll place this right here. It's gonna be some prime real estate. Perfect. All right, and we are gonna now buy one, two, three, three of these. Let's set it on doesn't look like it wants to go to this line. Huh. So what's going on here with line one? Why is this not working? So for some reason, this is not all connected here. Oh, that's why. There we go. And now this should work with the line. There we go. So now we can get some trams out here. That will definitely be a good thing for this part of our city, too, which is actually growing pretty quickly. Um, what's the population in this city right now? Yeah, it's definitely uh, pretty decent from what it originally started out as. Uh, I don't like that you can't upgrade that. I really want this road to be upgraded. Can this be upgraded, this road? not possible probably because where this is located I bet you let me pause this I'm gonna move this I think down this way a little bit more yeah let's do this ready we're gonna go take this line switch this to here place this here and then we are going to delete this stop so now doing that hopefully the line will automatically switch it might take a second to, to recognize it but usually they will switch to the close to a close station. If not, I'll just have to uh, do it manually. Yeah, okay, it doesn't look like it's gonna do it. All right, so between here and here, we are gonna stick that. Let's see here, so three, what happened here? Two, three, four, five is going to get deleted. And there you go. For some reason, that is not connected either right there. So I'm going to have to upgrade to this. Which it looks like it is. Weird. Um, hmm. There we go. Perfect. And then what I'm going to do is also do this down here. Because I'd rather it shoot down that way. Perfect. Okay. There we go. Just do a little bit of changing because I didn't want the... 
basically I don't want them going through this area right here. This is going to be a super big bottleneck eventually uh, if the trams are going through here. So we're just going to get rid of that and we're going to have them just go around like this and that will be way better for our future. So yeah, hopefully these trams will really start picking up the pace with people and we'll uh, get more people uh, moving through here. So let's go to line one again. I know I just spent the money on these guys, but I'm going to start deleting some of them. Let's see here. Who has the least amount of people? One, zero. This guy is being sold. One, one. These guys are being sold. Perfect. These guys have five, so I'm just going to wait until they get to a depot and they drop people off. And when they do that, like that, I can sell them. And just collect the money so I don't have to worry about losing some profit. Even though I know it's very small comparison, but every little dime counts when we start off and we're in the beginning stages. So let's, uh, I'll get these guys sold off and I'll be back. Okay, guys, so I have kind of uh, evened out all of the tram lines here, and they are running very efficiently. As you can see now, we have a lot of people being piled up right now in our train station, which is good. That means we're having a lot of demand. We have 143 people in this station, and then all the way over in the other town here, I think we got about the same amount. We got, what, 120. So this is working very well. Uh, you can also see the lines over here are not as crowded as they were before. Um, but yeah, what we're going to be doing is we are going to now extend the train line to this town over here. And doing that will definitely allow for uh, more traffic to come into this area too. So the first thing we're going to do is place a new station. And the new station is going to go right here. Boom. And now we need to extend the, ra or the roads next to the station. And let's put in another station like this. Perfect. All right, so now we have kind of an extra um, area for the trains and everything to come in, and also for the trams, or we have no trams in this town, for the wagons, I should say, the carriages to come in and unload people. So what we're going to do is let's extend this line now. So that's probably good there. This is going to be a longer loop here so i'm not sure how profitable this is going to be off the bat but hopefully we make good money from this too okay zoom in here and let's finish up by connecting it right to this station here boom there we go so we are all connected up now with these stations now, the one thing that we need to do is double up the tracks and extend the station platform to dual platforms. So let's go two platforms here. We'll apply that. This will, like I said, allow now for trains to come in either direction, which that will greatly help um, reduce some of this, um, or it will definitely help increase traffic. So that's kind of what we're going for here right now. So let's double up these tracks. This is always a... Uh, a good feeling when you get to this point when you start doubling up tracks and you start getting the uh, traffic flowing pretty well. Perfect. And we'll put some signals in to prevent trains from coming out onto the tracks. We'll put some more signals over here. Put some signals right over here too. Put another one right here. Perfect. Good. So now we have definitely enough trains coming through here, which is a good thing. That's exactly what we want. Okay. So what we got to do is now set up this line to be extended. So what well, the first thing we need to do, where's this locomotive? Track number nine. Let's change this color so it's a little bit more easier to see. Okay. So it comes over goes into this station. All right, so now it's going to extend after this. It's going to go down to here. Which is that's exactly what we want. And then it will come up to here next, stop here. And then it will continue back to where we originally were. So there we go. That is perfect. 
So this train is coming now into this station here. Hopefully by the time this train gets over here, we'll have some demand built up over here. What we have to do is go to this line and we need to add another station after four. And that's gonna go into here. And then we're gonna go to this line and we are gonna delete this. Yes, perfect. So now people will come over to this line and come over to here. Let's see. Okay. I need to get rid of all the wagons that are going on line eight. Vehicles. And let's just sell all these. I can go right into here. Line eight. Sell. There we go. So all those are going to be sold. And now... Hopefully all the rest of the traffic is going to come up to this train station. So that's definitely um, a good route. Uh, let's see how this is handled now coming up. Hopefully this uh, starts flowing pretty well. Okay, guys, and welcome back. So we have um, kind of gotten all the demand up a lot, if you could tell here. Uh, there's definitely a bunch of people demanding to take these trains. So we are definitely going to have to do some major upgrades to our locomotives um the first thing i'm thinking we got 11 mil right now so let's see what can we do here we could definitely upgrade this what can we do so this is the newest and fastest train 47 miles an hour 10 miles an hour faster let's do it so we're going to do this and then we're going to add one two three four five yeah, I think we're going to do five trains here. That would definitely, or four, five cars, that would definitely boost this pretty well. And we're going to replace this right now. And then the next thing I'm planning on doing is going to this side. We're going to put another station in over here. And with this station, we are going to build the exact same train we just requested to be uh, rebuilt. And we're going to do that right over here. So let's go one, and then one, two, three, four, five. And then this is going to go on this line. Perfect. There we go. So now we have all the trains we are going to need going forward. Let's see this train come out here. So there we go. This is our new locomotive and the new cars. I think it looks uh, pretty nice, actually. So this will be what uh, will be going back and forth on the line. And I'm hoping that this will really pick up. Uh, demand and really help us uh, get some of that uh, demand down. Uh, but yeah, 80 people, that's definitely going to be a good amount of people that can uh, go on these cars. So let's see how many people can get filled currently with this locomotive setup. We might take all these people. Nope, we didn't. Okay. So we have a full train already. That is um, that's pretty solid. Nice. All right. Well, this train is finally leaving uh, the city. So this is the first time we got a train basically leaving here. And hopefully that other train is going to upgrade. Let's see. Where is it? Is it getting into that station yet? Nope, it hasn't yet. All right. So this train is currently right along here, chugging along. It's moving pretty quickly. We got it going uh, 31 miles an hour. So hopefully the goal will be this will come into the station here and we will uh, get this train to upgrade also. Yeah, that should be definitely good. I like, uh, I like how this is coming though. Yeah, we have so many people in this station right now. So getting this demand down will definitely be good. Let's see here. Train three, will this upgrade? Okay, we just got everyone basically off, and there we go. We have the new train. Nice. So this is good. We have all new trains on these lines. That will definitely be a good little upgrade. How many people? All right, so we didn't even take all the people. So we'll see. We might have to get even another locomotive on this line and get three. But for right now, two will work sufficiently for us. How fast is this guy going? So he's going already 36 miles an hour. That's good. How's this demand? All right, so it's building back up. That's good. All right, good. So that is exactly what we want. 
The next thing we really need to look into are these um, trains that we have going back and forth for all the, uh, not coal, but for the, uh, what is it? All the other material. So we'll get to that in a second. Okay guys, and I am back. So one thing that I have done is I have upgraded this train line. I've put new locomotives with new wagons on here. Uh, they were just super outdated before and they just really need to be upgraded. And as you can see now, they are bringing in tons of profit. That's exactly what we want. And then gonna also upgrade the demand here, which then at the same time, we'll have to upgrade all the trucks and wagons that are bringing the food back and forth, bringing in technically more profit for us. Um, and also upgrading the pedestrian um, and amount of people are attracted to our cities, which will upgrade the amount of passengers on our train line, also boosting our profits. So as you can tell, it's a very cyclical uh, motion here. One thing feeds into the next, which then will grow all the lines together. So it's very important to get that stuff all hammered out early on in the game. But um, yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. We definitely got a good amount done. Uh, between you know setting up the tram lines in these two major cities and connecting our passenger line going around the whole outside to these three cities um, we're not going to expand any more for this episode today um, in our next episode though we are going to expand elsewhere on the map and it's really going to be a, a nice expansion that will eventually connect back up to this area um, and really help grow both areas uh, dramatically so i definitely have a good plan for the next episode and you guys definitely are going to want to come back to see that growth if you guys have not subscribed yet definitely go and subscribe down below and definitely like uh the video i would definitely appreciate that um if you guys are new like i said earlier welcome and i'm glad that you guys found my channel go check out the other videos that i've had and leave some comments let me know what you guys uh think about the videos uh so yeah overall we are definitely cooking and doing pretty damn well but um we are going to definitely end it here today. And once again, guys, my name is Banches. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, if you did like it, go like, go subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys in the next video. Have a good one, guys.